Hi, welcome to the 51st Hammer Tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to make ropes in your map. So, let's go ahead and get started here. First things first is you have to have a convincing point for your ropes to come out of. This is a pretty good prop that is used a lot. It's called wire pipe from Silo. Um, <coughs> So to start this off, you need to create an entity, and it needs to be a move rope. Okay. So now, typically place your first point right there. You, you place your, your first point where you want it to be. Alright. And then, once you get your point in place, you just want to copy the entity, and you want to rename it a keyframe rope. Now you want to name your first one. I like to keep. You want to name your move rope rope underscore. And typically people have many segments of rope in their map. So what I like to do is I like to name mine rope a rope underscore a and then one. So press apply and now you just copy this name over to the move rope and you press apply and. You will you copy it over and then you change the number at the end. Now you select the move rope and you make its next keyframe the next the next rope entity. So now you'll notice that there's a short line drawn between the two. We can edit this line and manipulate it based on how we want our rope to show in game. It can have all ropes sway a little bit from wind effects and everything. It just makes it convincing. 64 is a good speed, 48 is also good. You can have none. The slack is something very important. The more slack you add, that that's what it's going to look like in game. That line, if you can see it. So, that, you definitely don't want to, don't do a negative number, because that trips out the editor. Because it's actually trying to make the rope go up. So, don't do a negative number. That's bad. Um... The type, you can have it be rope, semi-ridged, or ridged. Just keep it rope. It's the easiest. Subdivision. The number of subdivisions between each rope segment. The maximum value for this is 8. Basically what it means is how choppy the rope is. It's almost like a higher quality model. 2 is a good ideal point. You don't want to go too high because then this increases, increases use. I mean, resources. Barbed. This will make it look... It, it almost removes anti-aliasing from it. It makes it look spiked a little bit. The width, self-explanatory. Texture scale, again, self-explanatory. Um, rope material. This is, pretty, this is pretty simple. You just choose a rope material. Like you have, actually, if you do a search in cable slash, you'll get all the different cable materials that are compatible with it. So I just, I keep mine cable, cable black. Works fine. Then disable wind, yes, no, your choice. And then usually you just copy the settings over the, to the keyframe rope because it has to have, it doesn't have to have the same ones, you can mix it up. And next, you want to place your keyframe rope. I'm going to have mine look like it's going to all the street lamps. So I'm just going to put that into the pole, just like that. Maybe up towards the top more. And now there's a really cool thing that you can do with this. This was not in the 2006 hammer, so it kind of made me and a lot of other people stray away, stray away from ropes because it was just such an inconvenience. In your 2D view, hold Shift and click and drag the entity. And now choose where you want this next one to be, and then let go of left click while holding Shift. This automatically tells it to add the next keyframe to the node. So it automatically adds the, 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 new, the new keyframe rope. Before you'd have to copy it, rename it, and then do the next keyframe. They also added this with uh, path track. It makes mapping a whole lot easier. So you can just pretty much just keep jumping around with these to your heart's content. They can go, they can go pretty much anywhere. Then I like to go back to my entry point. So, that's the whole tutorial on ropes. 
I'm going to compile this. And then I will see you in the hammers. Okay, so now we're in Counter-Strike. We're going to go ahead and load up our map. Okay. So we load this up. And join a team. Look at that. Some pretty cables, aren't they? And they're, they're, they're really easy to create. A lot of people... I, I used to think that they were a lot harder to create, but they're actually really simple. It's just... Paste special, basically. The shift drag. That's all you gotta do. Go all around the map. A little side note here, if you're using an NV projected texture to cast a dynamic light, these do block light from dynamic sources. So if my flashlight worked. Came up here. Yeah, you really can't see it. But if they're really close to the ground, these block your light. It's kind of a, it's a nice feature, I guess, but it can get annoying at times. There we go. You can see it swinging there. It gets annoying if you have cables on the ground and people have flashlight on because it just it causes too much distress on the engine and everything. So, I hope this tutorial helped you. Thanks for watching. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. And also subscribe to the newsletter on my website.